Hello and welcome friends to another episode of uh, Vintage Fountain Pens. In uh, this episode we will talk about an interesting, interesting German product of the 1970s and we have here the beautiful, beautiful design Geha Jeans Fountain Pen. It is also known as the, the reference 713 fountain pen. Let's talk about Geha for a, a few minutes. Uh, let's talk about the history of uh, Geha. So Geha was a German producer. It was based in Hanover. The brand name is a result of the first letters of Gebruder Hartmann, the Hartmann brothers who were the founders of Geha. They mainly produced office products like carbon paper and typewriter ribbons, but from the 50s onwards, they produced also high quality fountain pens. Practically, Geha did successfully compete with Pelican on the German student market of um, the 1970s and it competed with the Pericano line. They ended up being bought in the 1990s by their main competitor Pelican. Okay, returning to our interesting design fountain pen. This fountain pen was a student or a school fountain pen. It was produced between uh, 1972 and um, 1975. And uh, this particular model, it has this interesting metallic clip, which uh, ends in this button shape form it certainly reminds us of a, a metallic uh, button from uh, the jeans. And we have Geha jeans. Interesting, we have some stars and they are um, carved into the metallic clip. The clip is uh, quite functional. You can see quite a springy nib and uh, being metallic is quite resistant. Also the cap is metallic and it is painted in uh, this uh, black paint. And we have some writing here and I hope you can see it. Geha and made in Germany. The cap is friction fit. It uh, opens quite easy as you see we have a plain grip section and i'm sorry it is um it uh, was covered in um, water because i tried to flush and clean as well as i could the feed and uh, the nib. The nib, it is a steel nib. It is imprinted with Geha. And uh, here we have an interesting feed which, ha which has that uh, red button. And uh, that red button has a special roll. You can push it like this and you see it moved. And it had the role to activate the second cartridge. Unfortunately, I don't have the duo system cartridge, but I will show pictures of it. So like the design we saw on the Aurora 88, if you watched my episode, we had two small ink cartridges and they were linked together by a metallic part and Geha thought of an ingenious system 
when the first uh, cartridge run out of ink you simply push on this uh, button and the second cartridge would uh, go into action so practically you didn't have to open the whole barrel section to change the ink cartridge which uh, you could say it was a useful thing for students who you know take notes and maybe they run out, out of ink in the middle of a sentence and they don't have time to change classically the cartridge so simply push on this button and uh, this activates the second let's say ink cartridge this grip section is made out of plastic and this is made out of plastic it has this beautiful beautiful shade a beauty uh, you can see it has this beautiful blue light blue color and it has some uh, white stripes and they are barely visible also the original had some um, stitchings painted on and it uh, reminds us of um, the stitches from jeans unfortunately in time it was used and those painted stitching uh, red marks they are completely gone of course we are talking about a product from 1972 so quite quite an old fountain pen so this is uh, the basic geha fountain pen it was an entry-level fountain pen and i have here also a product from uh, geha and uh, this is a geha 722 it is also a product of the 1970s but this is their high-end fountain pen model you can see the attention to details the metallic cap this time we have a beautiful beautiful gold nib let me show you geha 14 karats 585 interesting it has the same system although in this fountain pen uh, it is uh, different because we have a piston filler so with an ink window if you watch carefully the ink window you will see the end of the piston and i like the design of this uh, multifaceted um, ink window the pen is very elegant it ends also in a metallic part so um, let's put this here and um, i want to show you other designs from uh, also from the 1970s and i have a soviet made fountain pen in a fabric in um, moscow and this has a hooded nib it reminds us of the parker 51 and it has this uh, interesting integrated uh, system like uh, ink converter but this time it is um, part of the body of the pen so you can't remove it so this is a soviet made fountain pen from the 1970s and i have uh, prepared for you other um, interesting designs of the 70s and i have here a mont blanc 320 uh, another piston filler but also a cartridge filler the mont blanc 221p p stands for patronon or ink cartridges this is the mont blanc it um, also uses international size ink cartridges but i also have prepared uh, let's say the main competition competitor of the 
we have jeans fountain pen and we have here a pelican steno this is from 1983 but very similar to the designs of the 1970s and it uh, although its uh, name is pelican steno is quite similar to the famous pelicano model from uh, pelican I don't have a vintage Pelicano, maybe I will purchase some days, but um, it, I thought to myself that um, this was a relevant model and uh, it sure was the direct competitor of Geha. And I also br brought this Pelican M30. Indeed, this is a product of the late 1960s. It was made between 1965 and 1970s. But um, it has uh, lots of uh, design characteristics that uh, will uh, shape also the design of the 1970s. This is again a piston filler with a gold nib. So uh, another high-end model. But returning to our um, economic fountain pen, Geha Jeans fountain pen, made for students or scholars, this is uh, quite a nice fountain pen. And uh, with the exception of the um, Soviet fountain pen, which is a little bit uh, smaller than the others, we can see that um, it has the same um, the same uh, shape and the same length. And in comparison with uh, their direct competitor, you can see that they are quite similar in size. And now I want to show you a little bit of the Steno and pelican or engeha nibs and i will also leave on the screen the dimensions of our geha jeans fountain pen and after that i will do the writing uh, sample So for the writing sample, I have prepared an international size ink cartridge, a light blue. Okay, so first we pull off the cap, we unscrew the barrel, and now we will try to insert this ink cartridge. And it first I will push back. I hope that I can do it. I'm uh, trying to see if uh, this needs special ink cartridges or it is okay with this ink cartridge. It appears we have some problems and I will shortly return. So for the writing sample, I will use a uh, Pelic uh, Faber Castell Turquoise uh, ink, and we have the ink converter. No, so it appears we don't have contact. No, I have this one, and I surely hope it will work. Okay, let me use the tissue to clean the excess ink. Always remember to close the ink cartridge, uh, the ink bottle, sorry. And we are ready for the writing sample. So here I have a Geha jeans 713 model it is made in germany and um, it was made between 1972 
1975. They had a whole line of products appealing to the young generation uh, of jeans. It is the period of the hippies and uh, it was like a new uniform for them to wear jeans because they are practical trousers. Um, they had a whole line based on a denim, on uh, jeans, and um, I even discovered uh, some pen holders. Quite, quite interesting. I will leave photos of uh, them. Okay, so this is a basic basic school fountain pen school fountain pen it has a steel nib the nib is m medium size size being a steel nib and german nib i don't think it has line variations so no flex no flex okay let's see how uh, juicy it is it is uh, quite nice oh, sorry i let me show you again so i want to see how juicy it is it is quite uh, a juicy nib practically this was my presentation of the Geha Jean School Fountain Pen from the 1970s. I didn't know about this model. I recently saw it on a site of used fountain pens and I thought that this theme of jeans is quite an interesting theme. And we are talking about the 1970s. So this product, it was ahead of its time because it used some elements from uh, another industry, industry that appealed to the young client base. And it did a little cross marketing and I think it was a brilliant, brilliant move. Although I don't know the official sales of this particular model, I think it was a, um, a hit. They are quite rare, you don't see them uh, quite often appear on eBay. I paid for this uh, quite, quite a low sum of money, 12 euros or something like that, with uh, the including the shipping cost. And I think I did um, okay. So this was uh, the, the review. If you've enjoyed it and you want to see other reviews of new and vintage fountain pens, please support my activity by subscribing to this uh, channel. As always, and let me see if it caps. Yes, it caps. So, as always, I wish you to have a nice day. Bye-bye, and thank you for your time. See you again at the next episode.